Now back here at the cabin, did a couple things. Um, I buried a line. My son actually dug most of the trench, but buried a line and put a switch and receptacle and a light out here because um, I got the outdoor theater. I'm sorry I'm winded. I've been cutting trees a lot. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, got the outdoor theater set up. So all I can got to do is take my video box, throw it out here with this. I got to set up speakers and the DVD player and everything. So at night we can watch movies. Now, in previous videos, you might have seen me shooting back here. And although I'm two miles deep in the woods and in thousands of acres, I really never liked shooting back here. I didn't feel it was 100% safe because, um, you know, bullets can travel. And then it'd be just my luck. Somebody be clear down in the valley down there and get pegged. So um, never liked it. Never was real comfortable with shooting. So me and my boys, we came out today and uh, set up a, an actual range, something we can feel a little bit more comfortable with. It's got a big dirt berm that we all shoot into. So behind the building here, we cut a path and we built a little makeshift platform. Uh, some scraps I had laying around. Um, not the best construction, but something to sit on, stand on. I'm gonna have a folding table out here when we shoot. But we cleared all this today with a, uh, a Sawzall because my chainsaw bar um, went out on me, the tip of it locked up. So we strung up some strings at multiple points to have you know different targets. The strings probably ain't gonna hold up. I look for somebody to hit one, <laughs> but we'll see how long they last. So we got that big dirt berm back there, and uh, you know all the targets will be below that level. So anything that goes is not going to travel and that makes me feel a lot more comfortable so i mean like i said there's a one millionth chance that something bad could happen but i don't like taking those chances not with not with guns guns you got to be safe so yeah we did this today with a sawzall and it sucked a lot what's doing babu The, right now, the hills, the hills are like this. You know we can't build a fire back here in the woods, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just dead. Pretend I'm... fire. Huh? Pretend fire. No, Dad, it's not pretend fire. I moved at all the leaves away so, from the fire. Believe me, that'll be cleaned up. I'll leave trash on there. But the deck turned out okay. Nice little place to shoot from. Platform, whatever. Sit put a folding table out here and you can range in guns i don't know i think that's probably about 50 60 yards maybe not sure but it's pretty far that's... it's enough i don't feel like killing her anymore Dad. captain retardo that dog man i swear like i feel guilty because he's always leashed but man i tell you you can't let him off the leash even if i put him in the fenced area he'll figure out a way to get out of it and uh, I'll never see him again. <laughs> he would run off. He would definitely disappear. He ain't like Biggs. Look, my my boy Biggs, nothing. I could have oh, yeah. out here and never say a word to him. He'd just say, hey, come here, dog, and he'd be right beside me. Him, I could scream bloody murder, and he would disappear into the woods, and I'd never see him again. What are you eating, Captain Stupid? Oh, Mark. stick, huh? I love the dog, though. I baby the hell out of him. He's very spoiled. But anyway, just a little update about what's going on out here. Bob, stop it. No, no, no. Check out my pistol. No, get it. No. Carl, you can't do no one with this thing. We'll be ranging in some guns here soon enough. Anyway, peace out.